still can't read these. Another one here. Look! It's the World Serpent. He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh, look! He bit Thor! Or will bite him. Looks like. What is that? It smells awful. Poison. What were those things? They smelled awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. Sure is foggy here. One 
another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that <clears throat> you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But... Nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no filthy. Okay then, I'll just I will just. Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Hey, Sindri. We found something interesting. Oh, really? I love something interesting. Hey, Sindri. Ah, offerings to Tyr. These are quite rare, you know. Why? Well, you know Odin, not the biggest fan of Tyr. I thought he destroyed all of these. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of twenty frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, Cinder. Don't touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well, it's your neck.
You think all dwarves are as weird as Brock and Cinder? No. Wonder why they don't get along. I mean, their family. That is their matter alone, boy. Okay. Uh, wait, no, yes, yes, come in.
If you're not in a hurry. Atreus, follow me. Be right there. Please be careful. I'm still fixing that. Stupid head chief. Tell me what's wrong with you. I could use a distraction. How about you, young one? Well, don't buy anything on my account. Where shall we begin? I suppose you prefer my brother's work? <laughs> You're wrong, of course.
I can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. 